I was umming and ahhing at the end of that last video because I did actually forget to show something. So we've just modified our MPC script to include a raycast. But currently that raycast isn't checking what the ray hit. It's only checking if it does hit something. Now if we open up our 3D scene, smooth to follow the camera script on so we can follow that action. Now, if I hit play, now, when he goes to an upwards facing surface, I think quite lucky it's not actually happening. The point I was going to make was, if that ray does actually hit Terrain. Anyway, we see it start to flash. He's actually going to start steering off the terrain. So we can find a stronger hill. Oh, there. He bumped off that tree. But that's going to be neat. Hard working with these 3D things. I hope you can see that raycast flashing. Yeah, it starts to flash now. So he's hitting the train with his raycast, see, and he's steering himself. Well, it depends on where the player is, doesn't it? So he's starting to steer himself in all different directions because that ray keeps hitting the terrain. Okay, so we need to put a check in there to make sure the raycast is not hitting the terrain. So here's our raycasts. I have another conditional check here. Now let's just borrow no, I'll type it out so you know what's going on. If the hit and if the collider of that hit and if the game object that that collider is attached to is named, if that name is equal to terrain, no, if that name is not equal to terrain, okay, if hit the collider, the game object, so if his raycast is not hitting the terrain, we're going to modify his rotation or his directional vector there. Okay, so if the ray does hit the terrain, we're not going to modify that. Okay, we want him to keep walking and walking up and down the terrain. So the same thing down here. Alright, I'll leave that there for a second. Explain it again. We're casting a ray from the left shoulder, and then we're going to check if the the hit hit the game object's collider called terrain. If it did, we're not going to do anything. If it's not called terrain, then we're going to apply a modification to our look directional vector. Let's see if we can somehow test that out again. That's the terrain. There's our guy there. We want to find a steep hill. And grab the NPC. Play it, we'll put him on the other side of the hill. Try and put him at the very bottom of this very sharp hill. so I can hit it and become grounded. Okay, so hopefully yeah, hopefully the player the player is definitely between us, the NPC and that big hill. Now let's watch that ray cast happening.
Okay, so even though those raycasts are hitting that terrain on that sharp hill, he hasn't changed his direction this time. He's just kept progressing forward. And he's found our player. Okay, so that's just to finish up the obstacles.